Hello, welcome to another Kent Beer Review. Got another bottle from the Watson Brewery, and it's a bottle of their Yellowtail. Coming in at 5.4%, sorry, 4.5%, get it right. And it's here, Yellowtail, and it's a Spring Bitter. Um, using five hops from New Zealand, so it could be interesting. Um, they're just out of Hurston in Kent, which is just sort of to the east of Canterbury, really. Anyway. Nice orange bottle cap. Let's open this one there. A little bit of smoke, not too bad, it's not going to go everywhere. Nice glug on this one. It's a two and a half, maybe a three finger head. White head, lots of larger bubbles on top, smaller bubbles around the side, quite nice amounts of carbonation there, as you can see. It's colour, it's um, it's certainly a bottle conditioned beer, it's very hazy, um, sort of orangey, sort of almost slightly dark orange, but you can see the through it, you can see the sun through it. There's lots of little things floating around in this one though, so uh, anyway, it's getting aroma on this one. Hmm. Kind of a lot of hop floor, very hoppy kind of floral notes. Um, hmm. Very fruity. Anyway, let's give us a try. Cheers. Very nice, actually. Nice zest on the front end. Um, it's kind of oranges, um, almost like a yeah, yeah. It's got that orange skin sort of edge to it. It's almost like a um, there's some other floral notes in there. That's obviously they're I mean, using five different varieties of hop from New Zealand, so it's definitely more different than the traditional English bitter. That, you know, that Kent seems to come up with. Um, obviously, you're going to get that a bit more with um, different hop varieties. Um, Nice. It's a sound beer. It's very carbonated. It's a bottle conditioned. Show you a bit of the bottle. Um, best before January 2016. It's a 500ml bottle. A fairly nice bit of artwork there. I do like this brewery. They're, they're traditional turret towers. Um, I think the, the brewery is named after. They used to be. Um, Obviously, many years ago, there used to be a channel between the Isle of Thanet, um running from Reculver to Richborough. Um, there's still two forts at either end of that channel um, that they used to guard um, so that no boats that they didn't want could uh, sail through. Um, obviously, it's not there now. It's all reclaimed land. It's marshland right the way through from Sandwich. Um, running right the way up. Uh, through Saar and then across to um, we got Plum Pudding Island which is just to the uh, west of Birchington anyway um, and that runs all the way up to Reculver and um, that used to be the Wantsome Channel so and that's what they've named after um, this beer was um, the Yellow Tail was originally um, what the French used to call the the Kent indigenous people 
um, from the Middle Ages. That was the nickname, Yellow Tail. Um, anyway, let's get this yeast and see how much we've got going on here. You can see the colour coming, pouring through there. Let's make sure I get all this in. Oh, excuse me. My first beer for quite a few days, so I normally do two or three videos in one go and spread them out. So it's definitely gone a lot more cloudier now. Now that it's, uh, I can't see any light, just shadow coming through. Really, but there's there's some lots of chunky monkeys in this one. Very fruity, very fruity, very zesty orange on the front end. Giving way, um, it's very sweet. Um, I mean, it says on here, um, I've tried to ignore, I've done a little bit of research, but I've tried to ignore that and try and give my what I think of it. It's saying it's a hint of vanilla. Uh, maybe, I think, but I think it, it's probably blended in with that that sweetness you, that, you know you're getting from the uh, fruity fruity hops that they're using um, it says it there anyway and the black writing what's it saying there yeah it just says bottle condition blah 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 um, there's a bit more of the write up you can see it in that grey writing that's where they're from Um, I'll put some other details in the, in the um, description below, but um, they've got a website, etc. So I'll post that in the commercial description, etc. One more swig of this. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Um, as for a rating, I think I'm going to give that. I'll give that a seven and a half out of ten. Um, it's a, it's a it's a seasonal whale. Um, it's it's running runs till May, um, but they must do obviously their bottling that lasts until January. So it's pretty much an almost all round beer. Um, I think I've had it on cask once. Um, I think I had it at the um, the Planet Fan Easter Beer Festival. I had it on cask. It was very nice then. Um, this may be the first time I've had it in a bottle, but anyway, I'm pretty sure of that. But anyway, there's, there's a bottle again. And cheers for now.